guys, this is Thomas with Hook It Up Outdoors. I'm switching fifth wheel hitches. I'm going to the B&W hitch, and I'll tell you why I'm going to the B&W hitch. Nothing wrong with that hitch. I've got a 2012 F350 Super Duty truck. It's got a 20 inch wheels on it. It's got the uh, fifth wheel prep package in the bed of the truck. Now my other hitch is it's a slider hitch. This is not a slider. This is the B&W Companion. The, the other hitch, I, I've never used the slider part. Never have I ever used it. And I, I just can't. You've got all that extra weight. Well, I had to buy a bracket anyway to go on the bottom for that uh, fifth wheel prep package. So that set the, the whole hitch up about that much higher, which set the whole camper up at a level. So to get it back down the level, I bought this hitch. And I don't have to use no bracket on the bottom or anything like that. The other hitch is, like I said, it's nothing wrong with it. I've only used it a couple years. Um, <clears throat> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be putting it up for sale. So if you guys are interested, let me know. I'll, I'll, uh, I live in North Carolina. If you wanna make the trip over here to see me, private message me. We're gonna do an unboxing. We're going to put this thing together, we're going to stick it on the back of the truck, and we're going to do a, it's, it's probably going to be two different videos, a part one, part two, or series type thing, but I'm going to do, uh, this is going to be just the unboxing part, the putting together, and then I'll do the, uh, the actual putting in the back of the truck and doing a test, test with it. Now, on the forms and all that, everywhere it says, do not buy this hitch if you got a short bed. We're going to find out. Like I said, I have never used my slider. Not ever, not once. Um, like I said, I just don't feel the need for the slider. I've got a, I've got a 2012 Voltage uh, V3200. And it's got the cutouts on the front of the, uh, of the cap. And I've never, I've never once had to use a slider i mean it just there may be there may come a time someday i wish i'd had a slider but i don't think i need it so i bought this hitch to save on weight save on having my my whole hitch at a have at a level all that stuff so we're going to put this thing together and uh see what we can do all right guys stay tuned get this thing see what we got Here's the bottom part. We're going to get this thing opened up. And Here's the bottom part. Here's the side pieces. And that's it, guys. I'll read some specs off to you in just a minute. Alright, this is for the Ford OME mount system, uh, which is basically the fifth wheel prep package in the newer F, uh, F Super Duty series trucks. Um, this is rated for 20,000 pounds of trailer weight and 5,000 pounds of tongue, tongue weight. Mine's at like Fully loaded. I mean, that's everything I can pack on the, on the thing. When it, if we go out on a big trip with a golf cart, because I've got a toy hauler, it's like fourteen thousand five something like that. And then the 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 trailer uh, tongue weight or the kingpin weight is like twenty three twenty four hundred pounds. So um, this is well within my range. 
tools required for the installation is a, uh, a torque wrench, um, which needs to be set at 80 pounds with a three quarter inch socket, a 7 sixteenths, a three quarters inch socket or wrench, a 7 32nd Allen wrench, a hammer, and a pair of needle nose plotters. So there's the tools that you're going to be needing and uh, we'll just go through all the instructions here. We'll get everything laid out and um, put this together. Uh, this is just also so you know this is the model 3300 um, hitched by BMW. It even comes with a book here which is pretty cool. It tells you exactly how to put this thing together. It gives you all the specs, you know, the best way to hook it up, all that good stuff. Alright guys, so they sent us all these bolts and stuff that we're going to set over here to the side. They sent us, this is called the leveling kit attachment pack here, so we're going to set this over to the side. And we're going to just start putting this together guys. Set all this stuff out. These right here are called pivot arms. We're getting ready to install these on this piece right here. So basically, taking this piece right here, you got holes down through here you can set for different heights. You can run it through there with a lock washer, just like that. And you got these on the back side that's gonna hold it in place. You're gonna run those into it. So that's basically all there is to it. One side down and torqued. Let's go to the other side. All right, now we're gonna start on the other side real quick. I want you to notice this is one thing that they said it was very important. In putting this thing together, you got these blocks. Let me show you these blocks right here, right here that the bolts go through. And it's very important by, the, by what the instruction said. There's like a little smooth piece inside. If you can see that, one side's smooth, one side's got threads all the way out to the edge of the block make sure whenever you install this thing the bolts through you, you install it with a smooth side where it goes through the the uh, the pivoting arms goes through and then the smooth side is flush against the, the, the outside piece here so the bolt goes through and then the smooth side is, is like that not where the thread side is on this side Okay, let's get busy. Kind of wish it just had bolts. I don't know what the difference is when you're using bolts in these brackets. I think bolts would be easier. But it is what it is. I'm going to tighten them up now real quick. Alright, as you can see, I got those mountain blocks all on. I put these other two on and I'll be good to go. We're gonna get it 80 pound torque here. One inch in front of axle or three inches in front of axle, one of the two. So I'm going with the one inch in front of axle instead of three inches because I want it as far away from that cab as I can since this is not a slider. So basically, right there is center, I'm going one inch behind. So you can see 
with these the way these brackets are, are designed it puts it puts the puts the whole unit back one inch now if I flipped it around the other way it would be, it'd put them uh, three inches in front of the axle instead of one inch you got different high adjustments you got 16 and three quarter 17 and three quarter and 18 and three quarter so um, it just depends on what what height you want as well now the nice thing about this it comes with a nice book that gives you all kinds of information about the hitch and weight weight requirements and all that stuff but it also comes with two two more things it comes with some lithium grease uh, some multi-purpose lithium grease that it has you to put on these uh, things right here um, the bushings the, the polyurethane bushings wants you to, to grease that it wants you to grease uh, the surface of the uh, of the hitch a little bit um, it's got a grease fitting on the bottom uh, wants you to grease the jaws all that stuff so I it sent a little bit of pack of grease I don't know if this will be enough or not but I'm going to use this also it comes with a, a sticker and of course B and W is made in the United States, so it says don't worry, my hitch is American made, which is really cool. So um I'll put this probably on the camper or somewhere, I don't know. Anyway, might put it on the side of the hitch. I, I don't know. Anyway, it's pretty cool. Alright, next we gotta install the leveling kit. I put the grease on last. We're gonna put this this bag of goodies on this hitch now. This right here is for the leveling kit. A little spring thing right there. And so the head right there will stay level. So you see this grease fitting on the bottom, they've already greased it, so I don't have to grease it again. But it says, I think it says every six months you need to grease this right here, this one fitting, so it keeps it free, moving, traveling. How much you travel and use this thing, but it says every six months. As you can tell, I got my pivot arm top bushings there greased with the provided uh, grease, lithium grease that come with it. It says to use some grease top plate here but I'm not I'm not going to because I use a, uh, a grease plate or one of them plates and round plates so I'm not going to do that I don't think it'd be necessary but it did say apply a little bit of grease on this head right here so I am going to do that it said you can also put some on the kingpin if you wish should be good all right final step is to put the handle on this thing so handle goes through there just like that don't do that one goes on this one All right, guys. We got it pretty much done. All we gotta do is put the the top part on the the main hitch here, and we'll be good to go. Just to let y'all guys know, one little goof up I made is I put this on the back. This right here goes on the front. Uh, if your cab's on this side, which mine will be, um, this spring goes on the driver's side of this of this hitch on the front. So that's just a little quick tip that hopefully y'all won't make that mistake. Because instructions was not real clear about that. All I gotta do is pull these pins right here out. And lift 
them up. And there she goes. Right out about back on there. Put the pins right back in place. Put the quarter pins back in the holes. And there's the hitch guys. Alright, so this is part one. I got it together. Didn't so show you every step. Uh, just read the manual that comes with it. it. It was really simple. I took my time. It probably took me, if I was doing it straight, it probably took me 45 minutes at the most. I don't know if it took that long, but uh, probably about 45 minutes to put it all together. Um, so tomorrow, or whenever I get a chance, I'm gonna put it in the truck. I'm gonna hook the hit. I'm gonna put the uh, hook the camper up to it. Give it a test run and see how it goes. But I may have to adjust these right here. I'm not sure. These right here is what locks it into your bed. You know, I may have to adjust these right here a little bit. It just it just depends. I think I put it on backwards. Yeah, I put it, I put the thing. I really like it. I got it set on the high setting right now. Uh, I'm gonna go from there and go down. Um, this may be what exactly what I, I, you know, exactly the height I need. I, I don't know yet, uh, but we're gonna we're gonna find out. We're gonna see how it does. Um, but so far, I'm really happy with it. It's very well built. It's made in the USA. Um, I like the adjustments on it. I think it's gonna work out really well. Hi guys, I hope you like this, this first part of this little series I'm going to do on this hitch. And will it, will it work in the back of a short bed pickup? I think it will, but we're going to find out. Alright guys, stay tuned. Be sure to hit that like button, that thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Hook it up outdoors. If you like guys, if you like fishing, go by and visit my second channel, uh, Southern Outdoors Fishing. Uh, that's what you probably know me by. Um, I do all kinds of fishing on, on that channel. I do river fishing, kayak fishing, boat fishing, saltwater fishing, just about every kind of fishing you think of. Go by and check out my, my fishing channel. Uh, this is just a whatever channel. It's vlog, camping, hunting, whatever. I don't really post much fishing. It goes on my other channel. But everything else goes on this channel. So look around my channel here. If you like it, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button on any other uh, videos you might watch. All right, guys, till next time, go hook them up. We'll see you next video. Later.